Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous tutorial in Silhouette Studio. Now, if you enjoy learning more about Silhouette Studio, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications that way you're always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But today, guys, our tutorial is covering how to make your own knockout designs in Silhouette Studio. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio. And you know, it is one of my favorite softwares and what I really love about it is how versatile it is for designing. And I have a really neat design for you today. Now, it's not necessarily a new concept, but it's always a fan favorite. And it's really easy, especially if you are new to designing. And it's also great this time of year because it's great for supporting your local high school teams and your favorite sports teams. So, Without uh, you know delaying any more, let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is combine some custom text with some custom clip art, okay? To make a really cute, awesome design. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Now I have already installed my font, so I'm going to create a text box here, and I'm going to type out Milton. I'm gonna hit enter and type out Panthers. Now, it's really important to make sure that you are selecting the correct type of font. And the font that we're using today is called Slime Dunk. And it's a little bit sporty, but it's also very bold and very close together. Does that make sense? Uh, because it's going to be important for that, for both of those qualities. You want a font that's bold and a font that's close together. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ungroup because I want all of those to be individual. Now I'm just using my arrow keys and I'm just going to nudge these over and make sure that they are nested together. I don't want to say as close as possible, but a little bit closer than what you would normally get with this font. And then I will go ahead and group these and group these. Now the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to take my longest word here, which is Panthers, is 9.255. I'm going to take Milton. My aspect ratio is unlocked and I'm going to make it 9.255 because I want them to be the same size. Okay. So now grab your top one, nest it down against your bottom one, Select both of these, come to your align, align them to center, and then go ahead and group them together. Okay, so hopefully I didn't go too fast. Basically, all you want to do is type out your text, choose a bold, closely nested font, and then go ahead and make them the same width. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and center that to our page, and let's go ahead and bring in our clip art. I'm going to go to file and merge. Now I downloaded right here, these cute Panther heads. And the one that I want to use is this one right here. So because this is a JPEG, I do need to trace it. Now, if you happen to be using an SVG file, that is your mascot, then you won't have to trace it. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Trace it and delete it out. Now I'm going to make this a different color. Any color is fine. We'll just do mint, a, a contrasting color. And let's see, my entire group here is 4.495 tall. So the next thing I want to do is I am gonna lock my aspect ratio, 4.495. I'm gonna change my height to 4.495 and hit enter. And then let's center that to page also. So you kind of see where I'm going with this, maybe. I'm going to select this and on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit control and left arrow. Now the reason that I do that is because it keeps it uh, exactly one space over to the left to help me keep my positioning because we are going to do these in two separate steps, both easy steps, but separate steps. Let's go to our modify panel. We're gonna select our first file here and go to crop. And then we're gonna group that together. And what that has done is it has filled our Panther head with these letters. 
and we're going to select both of these over here and choose subtract. And what that does is it takes the panther head out of the letters. Now, what I am going to do here, I'm going to delete these small teeny tiny pieces. Those aren't going to cut well or contribute much to the design. So we don't really need those. So go ahead and grab everything else, group it together. And when we center it to page, now you see that we have a panther head knocked out of this really awesome text here. So if I go ahead and just change the line color to transparent and let's zoom in so you can still read that the school name is Milton Panthers, but you can see the outline of that panther head in there. All right. Really, really cool. Really awesome. I like it a lot. Of course, you know, I am rooting for my home team here. Also my alma mater. So, you know, it's near and dear to my heart. Let's go ahead and... Uh, move that out of the way and let me tell you here. Let's group it together And let me just give you one more example So what if we say Love muffin Just to show you that there are applications that you can use this for that aren't um, school related or sports related So let's go ahead and this time we will fill it in with red I'm still going to ungroup. These are nested a little better. It was mainly that T in Milton that I had to move over. Same as it looked a little farther from the O here. So we'll group each of these together. And let's see, this time we're at 7.279. Unlock our aspect ratio, 7.279. So let's go ahead and butt those up against each other. Go to our align center and then center to page. We can make this a little bigger. That center to page really comes in handy. So we're going to group those together. And then from my flexa shapes, I'm just going to select a heart. Piece of cake. And let's see, our height is... 6.227 so let's fill this in with we'll just do pink and lock that aspect ratio 6.227 enter center to page i'm going to grab both of those control left just to make myself a duplicate open up that modify panel now i'm selecting the heart and the text i'm going to choose crop and group I'm going to select both of these over here and hit subtract and group. And then I'll center that back to page. And there we go. We have another cute example of a knockout design. So I think this is, you know, a really neat way of combining multiple elements. Like I said, though, it's really, really big in um, sports teams. So I think that's always going to be my go to. It is, you know, just a, a neat way to show your support and, you know, make a rather understated design using some really awesome pieces. But don't let that intimidate you. You know, this may take some getting used to using the crop and the subtract. Um, you know, I won't say that they're more advanced, but, you know, they can cause a little bit of confusion. So my tips for that or just if you are cropping or maybe not cropping, if you're subtracting and it's not subtracting out the right way, make sure you just pay attention that your clip art is on top of your text. That's going to be important. Type out your text first and then bring in your clip art. And if that's not the way that you do it, that's okay. Just send your text back because it's going to affect the way that the subtract feature works. Okay, but for now, guys, that is just how easy it is to make a cute and simple knockout design in Silhouette Studio. And then, of course, whenever you say you wanted to make this a shirt, you would just ungroup these again. And you would be able to cut this in one color here. Move it off to the side and cut this in another color so that you can then piece them back together on a shirt or a decal. You could put them on your car, whatever you decide to do with them. But. That is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. 
So guys, how did you feel about learning to make your own knockout designs in Silo Studio? Now, I think it's a really neat design to be able to make. Like I said, you know, it's great for your seasonal crafting. It's great for showing your school spirit, but there really is not a bad reason to make your own knockout design. And hopefully you guys will play around with it too. Now, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Maybe share with a crafty friend to help us keep growing the channel so we can keep bringing you these really awesome videos in the future. But I am going to wrap it up for today, guys. I do appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.